What's up? Uh, oh, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Red Pudding Official here. And we're here for another postcom. Um, for WBG. Um, yeah. Um, I'm falling very, very behind on uploads right now. Like, um, I'm doing this postcom. Everybody found it in a second. But yeah, I'm falling very behind on uploads. Um, I'm sorry about that. I just want to say that first off. Um, I'm sorry to live. I'm sorry to hopeless. I'm sorry to all the admins. Um. I know I've just been super behind. I really have no excuse. My only my only excuse is just I've been very busy. That's such a lame excuse. But it's genuinely just so true that like I ha I have all my videos uploaded. I just have not had the motivation to like press the upload button. And that's really lame, but like life has just been super rough right now. Um I know a lot of like draft creators are kind of like feeling the same way, but I'm not even a draft creator anymore. I'm just kind of like vibing. So like, I already have like zero excuses to not be falling behind on my uploads. But um, college has been very, very, very rough lately. It's been very, very stress-inducing, and yeah, just very, very rough to deal with. Um, very. I don't think it's been a while since I've been like this stressed in life. So like, I'm sorry to everybody. Um viewers, with hopeless, everybody involved that, um, that I just been, like, on my hand uploads, there's really no excuse for that, um, but yeah, um, we are facing Dan the Man, um, very cool guy, um, very scary team, so yeah, let's just get right into the battle, um, they lead the walking with group net, which I think is a really solid lead on their part, I lead a very very safe lead in Golden Blue and Cinnabar. This is just kind of my bread and butter lead. I just think it's really solid. Um, Golden, I like the Walking Wing Group Annette lead um, because Group Annette could Rage Powder, um, Walking Wing could like Hydro Steam and do all that stuff and just be a threat. So I'm just kind of scared right now. And I trick and I do something to consider it. So yeah, I think it's just a. I could have probably made some better plays. I could have probably led better here, but. Um, it's all good. I'm just kind of panicking at this point. At this point, I'm just kind of like, do I just lose on lead? I might just lose on lead, but we'll see. We'll see if I lose on lead. But, um, they go to Torkoal. They go to Torkoal. And I'm like, uh oh, that's really, really bad. That's not good at all. Uh, because they get Proto, but we get good information. We know that they are special attack boosting, which, that's fine. We fake out, which is all good. We know that they're not Terra Ghost, they're Terra Water. So I'm able to trick. The Torkoal, and they do reveal that they are, that they of course have a choice text, we are Jet Pack, so they are supporter Torkoal, which I think in this meta, supporter Torkoal, obviously this is Draftling, and Draftling is standard to CR, fully different breed, but I think a Jet Pack Torkoal is much better than like the standard like Eruption, slow Torkoal right now, so I, I think it's a very good, um, bring on their part, and especially Walking Lake, where you just want like Walking Lake to be the big damage dealer. And Torkoal with like Kelpie Hand just looks super super scary here. So at this point, I'm just kinda like, uh oh, this is really bad for me. Um, because they flamethrowers. And yeah, um, we use Golden Go, which is really, really terrible. Incineroar doesn't have awful damage or anything. At this point, I just got a party shot. I don't know why party shot is horrible. I should have tons of party shots in the way. I think I I think I I think I expected to protect. Which and that's very, that was not a good, that was not a good play. That was not a good play, but, um, I think I go to Latios here? Yeah, we go to Latios, we go to Latios, which, I guess is a, it's okay. Oh, I know I, I know I, yeah, I probably tried to torque because I was scared of eruption. So, yeah. Oh, I guess that was a decent, I guess that was decent. But now we go to Lando. Um, at this point, um, I was just seeing that I lose. I guess I, and I still think I lose because, like, I don't think there's, like, really any way because we have four mons. I guess I think it's super lucky, but it's just, it's not going to be, um, the easiest for me to get lucky, so. Music, where are you? Music. There we go. Okay. Um, oh, this is, this is, this is a bop. But yeah, they go to group out here. Um. Very good. Very, very good. Rubenet, we obviously know about Terror. 
and they just reposition themselves in a really good position because going to rip a net means next turn they could just rage powder. I can't do anything about it. They're just prime position one now, and I can't really do anything about it. So we're just gonna um let's speed this up a little bit. Why not? Oh my goodness, why is this light? Why? Okay. Yep. Okay, we're just gonna speed this up a little bit. Um, why not? Yep. So we tear land up. Um. Yep, tear land up into poison. We're gonna tail one, which I think is pretty much the only thing I can do right now. Um, Tans here, just nothing. And at this point, I don't think there's any way I can win because they snarl. Um. Yeah. Um. And walk you into position here because Ruben has some appeal, makes it very powerful. We can do whatever. Um. They're just in a really, really good position. I can't do much. I have the offense. That's the one thing about um, Incineroar, is that it's a really good mod, but sometimes it just can't do enough damage, which in this instance, it can't do enough, it can't do enough damage. And Lando with Latios are good, but first of all, Latios is down, and second of all, they can reduce so much, and Walkie Link like, just murders my, my team. So I just, um, at this point, I was just kind of like, okay, there's no way I win this. Um, I really just got to come up with a game plan, because... This is just a super rough scenario for me. Um, but yeah, um, Lando dies here. And at this point, Insane can't. Insane, Insane is insane, but Insane is not that insane. So, um. We just go on Insane. We go to Willigan. We get to find out some information about this Willigan. Are you Amulet? They're not Amulet. So yeah. Um. They only lost. I think we got some very good information. At this point, I was just like, okay. Um, this walking wake is probably- I- it can't be spec, it can't be scarfed, it can't be light for because it's not revealing it. It has not revealed protect, if it had protect, it would go for it. So, I am using a process of elimination. I'm not at the point where I can eliminate all the options, but I am kind of thinking that it's either like four attacks with like- Do like four attacks with like, um- Extra belt, I think extra belt was an option. Which I'd be a very weird bring, but it is a possible bring, but you could also be a salt belt. Those are like the two things that I kinda narrowed it down to. It could be like a weird item, they could be mirror her, they could do other stuff, but um I kinda just narrowed it down to like a salt and extra belt. Um Yeah, this time we just go for like a we go for Ogre Pawn and Instant Lead. I think this lead is very really good in a lot of instances. Um and it is weird bringing Ogre Pond to a Sun um, team, but I think if I kind of like position my pieces correctly, I think Ogre Pond could do some work. Like if I like fake out Torkoal, um, get a speed boost, get a good stomach tantrum or like Ivy Cudgel, because I'm pretty sure Ivy Cudgel, I don't think it chaos like most Walking Wake, but I think it chaos some Walking Wake, so. And yeah, uh, Ogre Punch just off speeds a lot of stuff, so that's my main um, reason for bringing Ogre Pond. And Golden Go and Pop are just did not look good here. So, yep, they lead Walking Wake Spook Tail, which that's not also a very good lead. Like, Dan has just been leading super good this, these, um, this, these two matches. Like, because the way I like I like the it leads is that, like, Kind of like this. I like leading something like passive and like leading something aggressive, and that's kind of like what I did here. I like the um. My theory is like Ogre Bond could be a passive lead, but I want to make it aggressive by just like spamming hits. And I think that's why um in some instances um why you might see something like double redirection with like Amoongus um and Ogre Bond on some teams. And if you just like lead Ogre Pond and Amoongus, Amoongus could rage powder and um, oh come on, we just, I can cuddle, but let's get back on track. But yeah, we, um, tear up the Ogre Pond here. And Ogre Pond is able to do, is just able to, I be cuddle here. Um, Instant is just able to fake out, it's able to be that nice passive spawn. And we get a crit, and that crit, uh, eh, eh. I'll talk about that crit later, I'll talk about that crit later. Um, but, they rock too. Rock too screen is really cool. It's really, really cool. But now Screamtail gets Toto. And I make a very interesting play here. 
I spiky shield because I think it's just obvious play. And if Scream Shield is unlocked, does not have Encore, the Scream Shield is actually growing. So I'm like, okay, I could swap myself into Party Shot. I'm like, eh, I'd rather just like swap with Eladio because I'm Encore. So we spike the shield here. And the Encore, and that was correct. Yeah, I did not want to be blocked in the tail position. And they overheat in Overbox. So I was, I was actually very excited to turn for me. Um, and I was like, okay, I'd be cudgel with Drinking Meter. It should be fine. The max speed Ogre Pond. But they actually be, uh, to be an uh, speed on uh, Screamtail, which is pretty cool. And this actually puts me in a very, 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 very bad position. Draco Meteor kills more gold, which is really sick. And sadly, there was a disconnect, which, that's the reason why I'm doing postcom. Let's go! Um, let me pause for a second. Okay, let's pause. Yeah, so at this point, uh, me and Dan mutually agreed that um, I would get the win because it didn't have much to do with it. If he wanted to repay it, replay it, I would absolutely replay it. But um, I think he was the person that was responsible for disconnect. But that's really not relevant because like we can replay it. I'm not the type of person that just like take a win because like I think in like a regular VGC like a tournament may be the case. But like um like a draft league game like this, I would just like replay it. It's not like, but, um, I think we both mutually agreed that, like, it was pretty doomed at that point. There's, like, not many ways for Dan to, um, really come back. Because, um, we saw that, um, Torko died there, Walking Link also died, and Screamtail was still alive. Their last mod was actually, um, Logan Hisui, which, it could do some stuff, it could actually do some stuff, but I think with, like, some of the Intimidate cycling and just some mods. I think it would be very hard for Dan to come back because I swap out Ogre Pond. I probably, hmm, I probably just like tailwind with Latios. I think I tailwind with Latios. Or, I tailwind with Latios. I block. Yeah, I tailwind with Latios. If not, I Draco Meteor and Draco Meteor into the Logan. We'll do a lot. Um. And I go back in Ogre Pond, I could stop Sun. Just like, I, I think I just have way too many resources, and I still land him back, and I think it's just very hard for, for um, Dan to come back. Because, did they use Terra? I don't think they used Terra. No, we didn't, but like, I still think it would be a little bit way too difficult for him to come back. So, we won't meet your grief. Okay, fine. Um, I will take the win. I. Trying to make rethink this, if there's like, if there's probably like some way for Dan to win, but I think it'd be just way too difficult. And I think I was actually in a really, really good position. So yeah, Dan just took the loss, and I was just like, I gave him option, I'm very sure, and he said, yeah. And then, yeah. Um, we're doing close calm, uh oh. And we gotta go for Island Sport, and we gotta go here. Okay, um, now we're here, and let's go a little bit, uh oh, that's a little bit too far, this is fine, this is unprofessional, but, this is fine, what do I leave here, it's been a while, but, um, I'm really going back in some lane here, I'm like, hmm, what exactly do I do, there's so many good options I could do, and I was just like, um, uh, let's just kind of go by my formula that I like is, which is offensive mod, defensive mod, I think, in sync with Latios, because you know that Latios is going to Draco Meteor, it's a big out, um, we made a great good position, and I think it's right. Uh, I was also making a leading Landers, but I think Landers would have been really bad if they fled. So, I just had Latios, because Latios is also going to be So I was like, okay, cool, whatever. Um, let's do it. And yeah, um, game three versus Dan, which is always really good. Let's go to 1.5 again. I actually like the speed. Yeah, let's go to 1.5. Is he gonna wait again? No. Let's go. Okay. Um, they do reveal the clear amulet, um, gouging, which I think is absolutely perfect by the sun. I think clear amulet gouging with sun is so insane. Uh, especially against an instant matchup, clear amulet gouging is just really, really good. And that's just puts me in a very sticky position. Very, very sticky position. And I'm kind of deciding what I want to do. 
really deciding what I want to do. And I decide to it. A pick out. Um, you look exactly my Latios right here, but I think it's fine. Um, because I think Tailwind is going to be super important here. They switch out Wake and get Logan. And I think they got one pretty obvious here, so I think something that's kind of going in my mind there also is that, okay, Wake can protect. And it's just a very aggressive play, and I'd prob they probably expect me to fake out into Wake. So I made a very aggressive play there. We get the Tailwind up, which I think is really, really good for me. This is a really good turn. Uh, one for me. And at this point, I'm just kind of like, this Gaji is Terra Grass. It could do a lot of things. It could Terra Grass here. But I kind of just want to. Uh, Parting shot into Will get, get some Intimidate Cycling. Um, not that bad of an right here, but. They actually just withdraw Gaji. Which is something. Torkoal. Torkoal. Which, of course, is Torkoal. Because it's a sub team. But yeah. As long as you have a straight goal, if you do, Torkoal goes bye bye. And we're actually in a really good position now. Like, this is really solid for me. And we learned Super Power, which, that's all we get, so that's fine. Um, we get some nice momentum now with Party Shot, which is always really cool. Party Shot always goes really, really ham. And I think it's especially like Logan, it's really good. And now, I'm just kind of thinking for a little bit. Oh my god, what do I want to do? I think there's some options I can do. So I decide, and I decide, I don't even want to right? I go over Yep, I go over Okay, cool. I go over pump. And that's a little good. Probably because I didn't want Lander to go to sleep. And we go back at a Gaudi, which is... I think no matter what, even if I want Lander, it would be a very interesting position for me because they're going to play. If I Lander, it's a good wake. If I went, um... Oh, oh, but, oh yeah, that's why, that's why I did this. Okay, cool. The reason I went Ogre Pond is because I'd rather have Gouging in the fight, Gouging in the field rather than walking wake. So... I kind of want to like position them into um, saying so, you know, gouging because the plan was to always just go Incineroar just because Incineroar is good and I don't want anything to fall asleep and I want another Intimidate, let well, Yosa sleep, that's fine. ACC, which does a lot, that does so much, oh my god that does so much because that's like plus three. Um, and Breaking Swipes comes out which is not the greatest but it's kind of what you expect right? I think it's kind of what you expect. And Draco Meteor. And I'm like, hmm, Draco Meteor? Why am I Draco Meteor? Which is Luster Purge. And Luster Purge coming out, predicting a Burning Barwick from the Gaudi. Which, in hindsight, I probably should have picked up a Gaudi. I don't think Gaudi really. Oh, I should. No, never mind. Never mind. I made a red play. I made, I made a red play. But we take out here. We had to use Wakes Up. And we get a Luster Purge. And it says minus two, but we'll get to the drop. So, right now we're actually in a really, really solid position. We still have all four months. Um, but, gouging is still such a problem here, because clear amulet, gouging is such a, such a crap. And this week, at this point, I was just kind of like, hmm, I think I just got to bet that you're a us. Um, I don't think it would be extra bell. I think Wait saw them walking which is super good against my team, so they didn't bring with Wake. They did not bring walking Wake with Assault us. I think it's kind of a kind of a throw, so, um, yep, they get the double KO here, which, that's expected, that's a 2v2, it's actually super scary 2v2 for me, it's insanely scary for me, because this is like the worst conditions for me to be in, because I have an over on the field, and, and Sun, against probably two of the best Sun creatures in the game, so, um, this is scary, I make a hard read though, I make a super hard read, so, Gouging is actually Terra Grass, and, um, Walking Lake is Terra Water. So I can eat to just Earth Power Gouging right now. And I can be like, okay, Walking Lake is going to Terra Water. But I was just like, Sludge Bomb is better because it's still going to do some damage if a Gouging does not Terra, but does Terra. So I made the right play right. And at this point, I'm like, okay. I think Comfortable is probably not going to kill you. No one got Walking Lake. It's probably more defensive. It's a salt fest. But I just got to hope for a crit. I really just got to hope for a crit. Just crit, Ogre Pond, Racer Claw. It's it's good. Razor Claw. Razor Claw. Razor Claw. Razor Claw. Let's go. Crit. Crit. Okay. Okay. Um, I will be here. I did get Omega Bail. I got Omega Bail. I should not have won this game. I should not have won this game. Um, because, um, 
that crit was just super unfortunate because I think um, Dan just played better than me that game. And I think I played decent game three, but I think uh, overall I think Dan just had better attention than me because he had some plus wins from gouging in my well, the only reason why I won that was a crit, which it happened. Not so proud. I'm not very proud of that win, but like it's a win sometimes I have to take. Which, um, we are undefeated still, which, I don't know how, I don't think I should be undefeated, I think I've got failed a ton this season, um, I think I've got failed way too much this season, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I, oh, season has been, it's been interesting for sure, um, the fact that I'm undefeated is really cool, um, it's really cool. I've got bail. I'm not very proud of some of these wins. But I think overall I've been playing okay this season. Um like let's go back to this team. Like this team, um before man, I'm just gonna react a little bit I'm actually very really happy with this team. I think this team is really solid. Um I think I've stuck my foundations and I wasn't like going through the most insane months ever. Of course I wasn't going for most insane months. I think that was a cool to go. Well, that's. I could have looked for like more insane stuff, but I was just kind of like, okay, what do I know best? I know um, that one of my favorite combos in BGC is Instant Goes Golden Go, because they just have like such good up defensive synergy, and they could also offensively support each other. So I was just kind of like, um, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, you could just uh, defensive support, support each other. I think, okay. Um, obviously, we have an instance of power from my tractor. Um, but I picked it up, and I was like, what is one of the most insane things in you see is talents? So, I got power from the Incineroar, which Incineroar is supposed to replace Arcanine, and then Ogre Pond is supposed to replace Illumis, which I'm also very proud of that. And I was like, okay, well, Illumis Pond is also really good. And then Radios is also really good. Um, Limited Hunt, obviously, is such a, it's so good at BGC. It's really, really good. Um, just being more like their power feature, Fuzz Bomb, just so many good tools. And Latios, um, it's, it's basically, I was gonna get Latios, but it's just basically just like a replacement for Latios, which I think it's been so, so good at replacement for Latios. Um, because I, because I thought, like Gladios, um, because early on, uh, I was like, Gladios, um, Glimpse Incarnate King Ganon is such a good defensive backbone, and I was reading King Ganon, but I was like, okay, I think Gladios plus Landers make a good offense for me. And then, the last three months, I would have not really got to showcase, but, um, yeah, um, still planning to bring up soon. The reason why I'm saying this is because I think at this point we're pretty much guaranteed playoffs. Which I will I don't want to make my opponents feel bad or anything, but I think I could go a lot harder this season. I think I could take it all the way if I really try. And I really want to. So mid season I'm feeling super well about this league. I think I have potential to take it all the take it all the way because I think I still have a lot to prove. Um I think I still have a lot to prove. And I really just want to like end my Well, I'll, I'll, I'll leave that for another bit, but this could easily just be my last draft, like that's all I'll say. Um So yeah, I just wanna end it the bang. And I really wanna like um I really wanna be more consistent with WG. I I love this we have been loving playing in it. Um I'm still really glad I'm able to play with like people I've loved in the draft to be in forever. I've never really played against them. Obviously, this is not their domain. This is BGC. They play singles. But playing against, but I hope to play against like Owen. I looked up to Kirby for such a long time. Liv, I loved her singles content. Um, and I've been wanting to watch her BGC grow and watch her BGC content. I don't know why I'm ranting, but like, 
yeah. This just this just has been so much fun. I'm sorry about my inconsistency. I feel really bad about it because there's probably so many other people have Savior Miss Experience. Like I really do Savior Miss Experience. I just love loving Miss Experience so much. But like I just feel bad because I think I've just been kind of like holding this really bad. And that's kind of how I feel right now. But um, overall, with like the mid season recap, I'm kind of what I did. I think that's what I did. Um, feeling very really good. Hoping to really like showcase my team in playoffs. And yeah, um, sorry for like the, um, kind of like weird, this is, this was a very weird conclusion, but, um, yeah, um, this is very weird, but yeah, let me finally wrap it up. I think I've just been dragging it on for this time too long, just been ranting about random stuff, so, let me just end it. Um, thank you very much for watching. A uh, very fun match. GG's to Dan the Man. He played Super Bowl there. But yeah, um, that's all. Bye bye, everybody. Yeah. Woo!